This is a video response to Dan Reisner and by extension to Emily the Brave about existentialism, but more specifically it's to Dan Reisner about Kurt Vonnegut being an existentialist. In Dan's video he says the following. In fact he goes on to say that the reason most of his characters do in the end adopt predeterministic philosophies is because they are too weak to keep making decisions for themselves and instead resign themselves to remediacy. And thus, even though Vonnegut's protagonists are very much not existentialists, Vonnegut himself very much is. Boom! I find it interesting that Kurt Vonnegut describes his characters as being too weak-willed and resigning to remediacy, when in fact that is exactly the way that the Stoics believe that you should attain happiness. In the Stoic worldview, the world and the universe is predetermined. It happens exactly as it is supposed to happen every single time, no matter how many times the universe has existed, and we don't know how many times that is because it doesn't really matter. But the point is that it happens exactly the same no matter what we try and do, and the choices we make don't necessarily matter. However, the fact that human beings have a free will does not escape the Stoics, and in fact it is one of the key features of Stoicism, because they believe that when you align your free will with the deterministic universe, you will actually attain happiness rather than be frustrated by trying to butt up against a universe that will be predetermined no matter what you decide to do. Therefore, it is my belief that Kurt Vonnegut's characters and Kurt Vonnegut probably himself were more in line with Stoicism rather than existentialism, but you can of course decide that with a little bit of research into Stoicism, which is an ancient Hellenistic philosophy that was popular with Epictetus. He's he's kind of the big guy. So thank you for your video. There's your video response. You have a wonderful day and I'll see you whenever it is again that I see my audience, but also perhaps you, whoever it is that you are watching me out there in the universe.